Warriors come out to play. Enough of that, I think. Okay, the Warriors movie, 1979. Let me just check this has actually started recording. Can you hear me, Mother? Mother, can you hear me? Right, this is not going to be particularly about the film. Presumably you've seen it. If not, you want to go out, stop watching this, go out, rent it, watch it now. What I want to talk about is how did the film affect you? I'm going to tell you how me and my friends went to see it. It was banned in uh, the towns where we lived. We had to travel to Birmingham, big city in the middle of the UK, where I get uh, a bus to Walsall, train to Birmingham, then walk right across Birmingham through the subways and that. Didn't know much about the film, just knew about it was a gang. I think there was probably about nine of us, sort of, so it seemed similar to the the story of the film and I just remember watching the film and this character in it called Ajax played by James Remar I think it is and I just remember watching this arrogant big-headed loud-mouthed bloke and I thought that's me that is All right and since then I've sort of basically lived my life like Ajax. All right, I did end up being put in a wheelchair for a while and I've got a few scars and I've took a fair few kickings. I just wanted to say it's, I'm not saying it was a good idea, but it's been a laugh. I mean, it really has been a laugh. Calling people wimps, chicken shit, whatever. That's just the way it went. And I just wondered, did you relate to any character in the film. Um, I don't know if you're a black guy. Did you relate to where's my pictures gone? The leader of the gang at the start, the one that gets killed. I met him at a, a Warriors convention in Birmingham, funny enough, and a few hundred yards from where we uh, travelled to see the film. Um, it was this played by... Um, I did write that down, but I've lost it now. Great bloke. I've never been to a, one of these convention things. I uh, I didn't know what you're supposed to do, to be honest. Anyway, I just went up and started talking to him. And uh, uh, apparently they, they sell these pictures. And I think the idea is you buy them off him. And it makes it like worth them coming to these things. But I ain't got any money. So I just said, uh, nice meeting you. But it was such a nice bloke. They wanted £25 each for them, but he did two of me. He asked me which ones I wanted. I said, I'll, uh, I'll have the one of you in your prime, like. And so, yeah, he was great. Like, I talked to him for like half an hour because the, the convention wasn't much of a success. And I talked to most of the other characters. Um, they were all right, but they didn't get me any free pictures. I think, uh, I think I've got the wrong idea of what you're supposed to do with these things. But nevertheless... So, in the comments, did you relate to a character in that film? And do you think the the film sort of changed your life in any way? Because I remember when we came out from watching it, we were walking, got to travel across through Birmingham, which is not our area, and it was pretty dangerous back then. And we were sort of that hyped up. I remember a friend of mine, Sid, jumping up and he's banging the lights in the subways like, and we were sort of going back, we were so really hyped up from it. And I still rate it as one of the best films of all time. The fight sequences, uh, just so much better. They were short and succinct. Uh, not like all these Kung Fu ones that you watch now. Like you know, you're sort of watching this fun fight and you go up, make a cup of coffee and come back and they're still in the same bloody fight. They, they were to the, to the point. My personal, I like the fight in the uh, toilets against the ones with the roller skating. I thought that was amazingly filmed, but obviously Baseball Furies was a great one. Um, yeah, so let me know. Was this such a big deal for you, or is it just the fact that I was 18 at the time and uh, it just made a big impression on me? I'll just check my list, see if there's anything else. Uh, meeting the cast. Uh, how we got there, that was, that was fun, because it was just like the... The movie said we weren't going back to Coney Island. There's no fun fairs or see where I live. 
Oh, when I was talking to this guy about it, apparently in the USA, what made it really different was the fact that it was a mixed race gang. It never occurred to us because we're sort of, we've got black, white people in our gang. You know, it just sort of just seemed normal. But apparently that doesn't happen over there. So, yeah. So I just related so much to Ajax. So let me go know what you think about that. Uh, when did you see it? Did it affect you? Do you write the film still? Um, the turnout of the, the convention wasn't uh, that good, but I, th I think it's sort of, particularly that crappy bottle thing, if you ask people who sort of only watch the film once, they still remember that Warriors come out to buy, play with the bottles. So, yeah, I think that's probably all I wanted to say on this uh, this one just about the Warriors. I normally uh, finish my videos with two fingers piece, man, but uh, seeing as it's the Warriors, and I'm seeing as I relate to Ajax, it's going to be later, guys. Gonna make a joke out of life if life makes a joke out of you. It's better to laugh than it is to try. Oh, I don't.